Interview questions. How did you handle a conflict? How did you handle a conflict with a coworker, supervisor, or a manager? This question is often asked to see how you're able to manage conflict and work cohesively as part of a team. The interviewers are seeking examples of real life situations that have occurred and how you handled them. Your ability to demonstrate appropriate problem solving skills in resolving conflicts while dealing with different personalities will give the employer confidence that this is something you will be able to effectively deal with in the future. The STAR technique is useful for this question. Avoid saying that you've never had a conflict or using negative language to describe others in the situation. Your answer should not include relying on your manager to solve the problem. Employers want to know that you are able to overcome small conflicts and move forward without interrupting the flow of the workplace. We'll show you an example of what not to do, followed by an example of a good answer to this question. An interviewer may say, tell me about a time when you experienced a conflict with a coworker, manager, or supervisor. How did you handle it? The interviewee may respond by saying, while I was working as an administrative assistant, the firm I was working at had some staffing changes. They had me working with a manager that I haven't worked with before. The manager seemed to be having some obvious miscommunication errors and didn't really seem to know how to do her job. I thought the best course of action was to ignore the problem and hope it went away. I didn't see any value in talking to her because she seemed really socially awkward and I quit not too long after that. That answer didn't work. Here's why. They didn't solve the problem. They used negative language to describe the other people involved in the conflict. They showed that they didn't work well with the team. Now, let's look at how they could have done better. The interviewee may instead respond by saying, When I was working as an administrative assistant, the firm I was working with was having some staffing changes. I was asked to support a manager that I had not previously worked with. The new manager provided less feedback than my previous manager, and I found that I had a hard time identifying with what he wanted from me. I knew that I needed to clarify what exactly the expectations were of me and how I can better help him. I suggested that we meet and have a conversation about this. In the meeting, I acknowledged the disagreements and we talked about what was working and what wasn't working. An honest conversation about work styles and expectations led to a better understanding of how we could work more effectively. Listening and understanding each other's point of view was helpful in coming up with a solution. After we had this conversation, we worked together successfully for several years. Ever since that experience, I always take the opportunity at the beginning of a new job to discuss expectations. That was a good answer. Here's why. They overcame the issue and worked well with others. They explained how they resolved the issue, showing problem-solving skills. They described the situation using STAR, situation, task, action, result.